I'm also opening the lines now to my producer so you, you guys can get to us and ask him any question yes. you want to ask him. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you, wrote, you wrote that or you never knew she was 16. Definitely. Uh, uh, but then um, they also accused you yeah. of uh, impregnating the girl. Definitely. Uh, but then, how did you come out of that? You, you, had this, you went to Spain or somewhere, I don't I know. I went to Portugal. Which was Portugal. I was supposed to sign for Benfica. So I was okay. on trial to... Because the hit on me was too much, and then the club stand a chance of losing money on me. Okay. So they just arranged a trial in, in, in Portugal. Okay, your club arranged the trial? Definitely not, okay. because they bought me from Lucrin, so I okay. mean, they want yeah. to recoup money. Just, money right. so, um, Which club were you on then? I was in Lis. I played for Lis. Yes, Lise, yeah, Lise, yeah, Lise, yeah, 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 okay. So I went to Portugal. I was with Benfica doing trial. I was about to sign a contract, four days to sign a contract with Benfica. That's when the news, because definitely they will make investigation sure. about the players yeah. they want to sign. Club you are coming from, what's happening? They will ask, like journalists, you call your journalist friend in Belgium and ask, yeah. how is this guy? What, what's his, uh, his resume? What's his... Uh, I, so as soon as they mentioned my name, they said, no, it's having a serious issue in Belgium that we are still looking at a rape issue and all that. So I did message now, get across to Benfica. Uh, that's how they, I pull out of the contract. And I flew from Portugal back to Nigeria. To Nigeria. You didn't go back. Without, go, you didn't without go, going to Belgium. Joe. Without getting anything from even my pin from yeah. Belgium. I didn't get till I came back here. And I, you know one funniest thing in life? I mean, you, you look at some disappointment along the line thinking that, I mean, it might be the end of the world. Okay. Let's, can let's, I, okay. Can I would think that when we talk about this, it has also to do with what exactly he had experienced when he played in the league yeah. in yeah, the late I, 80s. Yeah. In, in I, I, the I, I, it's a different ball game. It's a different it's a ball game. Different ball game. Different ball game at the end of the day, it still boils down to structure. Structure. Talking about but structure. you see what this young chap is telling mm. me. I, I cannot sit down here and tell. A lot, a lot has been happening to that. A lot has been happening to me. A lot of players like this has been happening. I have a lot. I won't mention their name, coaches, who are my friends, who are my colleagues, from Imama to all of them. They are my colleagues. Some were my even junior Junior's, self. Yeah. You understand me? So, but I'm not. But that is why it's difficult for me. I can show you when they bought me one commissioner of sport in Akwaibu bought me ticket in MINIS to go and become a coach. And I look at him. I told him, commissioner, look, at my age, you cannot force me to do well, what I don't, I have, don't passion, have passion, passion for. for. Yes. So if I go and buy a form now and go to NIS and become a coach, oh, do you want to tag another failure on me? Mm. What I had was a mistake, <laughs> not a failure. I made sure. a mistake, not sure. a failure. Sure. So don't push me to a field failure. that I'll yeah. be a failure. So wow. please, you guys continue with your coaching uh, stuff. And, and then where the, they are so resident. Where's uh, my friend Late Cash in my skipper now? You understand wow. me? Okay. Uh, uh, we, are, we were at that point where you packed your things and left Portugal yeah. and came back to Nigeria without a pin. Definitely. Where all you had was, you know, were there right there in Belgium. Definitely. Uh, you, you thought you, uh, they could facilitate a deal for Benfica. Defin definitely. Okay. Uh, you came back to Nigeria. Yeah. That was the end of your professional career outside the country. Yeah, it was the end. But technically, FIFA-wise, it wasn't the end. Okay. Because, I mean, I wasn't, I didn't have a case with FIFA. FIFA had never suspended me. Okay. I have a legal case in Belgium that can be sorted out legally. That's why Abiola stepped in, may his soul to rest in peace. My brother, everywhere you go, so so well, may his own soul rest in peace. Oh. He stepped in, not my FA, like uh, Portuguese FA, yeah. standing by Ronaldo now, trying to fight Nook. It was the only man that stepped in, gave her, they were $50,000 yeah. then. I can't forget. The check was The check was uh, Ambro Bank. I can't forget that bank because I was yeah. in a sitting room Dutch. when he signed that Dutch bank, Dutch when he signed that check. They went there, they came back, they said they need time to, you know, to see what they can. And he was in the midst of uh, uh, 93 presidential, presidential election. He has his own problem. So he said, okay, they should wait till the election is finished. So that was the last word I heard from him till today. May so rest in peace. But the, child, the child eventually gave birth. Uh, they gave birth. The offspring was a white, a white, a white offspring. <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, Mumuni that have that story. Because okay. it's Mumuni, complete for so, He's alive. Yeah, allow. You can give him a ring, allow it's, yeah. He was a, he was in my house in Belgium. I'm not saying and he was 91. He came to my he came to do interview for well, all the, the all players, the players there. Yes, yeah. there. Yeah. So so he got blessed you. He followed the story. So I mean he was so he was the only journalist that followed his story till the end. I even wrote that the girl has a white it was a white offspring. 
But you know, when you have a tack, as I said, mm. when you have a tack and, you, and yeah, your, like lifestyle, a like your lifestyle, like your lifestyle fits what they, what they will just it. push it on Okay, you. that is that because we just have a um, very short time to go at him. Yeah. Uh, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is in a dilemma. Yeah. You, you said something about lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, do, do you believe the accusation? Because like now, uh, the moment that thing happened, yeah. she went to the police and complained. Yeah. But she said, the man who <laughs> raped me is a popular figure. I don't want to mention his name now. Yeah. Because maybe the man might not want to do that. And then they did some tests. They did some medical tests and all those. And then they met. And then uh, she was paid about $375,000. Yeah. To keep, you know, to keep, to keep well, the case I've been, follow, I've been yeah. following. You know, okay. it now, involves now, me. I really followed the case. You, you know, the girls, will, girls came yeah. to you. Personally, yeah. Girls yeah. came to you. Yeah. Girls will go to Cristiano Ronaldo. Definitely. Girls will go to the footballers now. Definitely. I mean, what, what, how do you advise footballers on how to handle their life mm -hmm. so, so that they don't enter this pitfall? It, the same it, way you entered and the same district might also drag Ronaldo. Because it's, most it's, of the sponsors uh, are saying they want to withdraw now. It cannot be rolling in 35 million, 30 million euro a year, and then your annual income is like 400, 500 million. It comes with the territory, territory okay, definitely. True. But like I said, if you look at Ronaldo lifestyle and Messi lifestyle, they are two opposite lifestyles. Nice. This one is a rock star lifestyle. Yeah. This one is a more humble, humidity man who believes football is everything for him. In true but, this, but this one is just... I, I was even thinking about not even rape side. It happens. I believe it happens, but I know he didn't do it. It happens because when that money was paid, that was paid for the evidence to be destroyed. Yeah. Now, an evidence has destroyed the Me Too movement, have gingered the whole thing up. Maybe when he was in Real Madrid, it was a bigger yeah, club. Exactly. They can cover and suppress, and suppress. whatever suppress. was going to exactly. come his way before they sold him out. But so. you know, mafia are too much in Italy. Italy. They so. can let that out of the cage and so. try to rubbish you. So I think uh, after paying 375000 as of 19, 2010. I followed it 2010. 2010 yes. was so it has, after nine years, eight years, eight years. now, you are coming to. Uh, I love both of them because this is an area. Messi, it's like something happening to Messi now. I will feel very bad. So, I have empathy. So you advise, because we are going, you advise, you advise to the illness. Uh, you just uh, keep your lifestyle in a low key and be grounded. And That's be grounded. the best way. Okay. The best way. I actually 